my name is George Coleman Jr. Without further ado, we would like to bring in our very, very special guest. The legendary king of the tenor saxophone, Mr. George Coleman. George Coleman. Jr. And I'm Gloria Coleman Jr. We're the sons and daughters of two great, fantastic jazz musicians, George Coleman, tenor saxophone, and Gloria Coleman, jazz organist and bassist. Vocalist. Vocalist. Composer. Composer. <laughs> Composer. How did you get into Miles' band? Well, you know, I, I went and sat in with the band one night and played Train's Horn. I mean, he could play all day, all night, and then play some. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, that's what made him so great, though. You know, he he had his instrument at, in his heart. All of this stuff that came out of his horn was in his heart, mm -hmm. and his mind, and and, and in his execution. So Jeff <laughs> Miles asked Train, said, Train, why you play so long, man? He said, well, he said, I just can't stop, Miles. I don't know how to stop. He said, take the fucking horn out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a wild story yeah. for sure. Oh, that's you. That's you. <laughs> we didn't even get the chance to, you know, talk or interview her either. You no, know because I mean? we... we... I think of amazing stories we missed there, you know what I mean? She left us so soon. She left us before we could uh, do things. And, um, you know, she didn't want to go. At least she went quietly. She went in her sleep. I have the, uh, I have a cassette of all of us in Philadelphia the last time Shirley played. And that was her last birthday party before she passed. And I had it on cassette. She was a great person. You know, oh, she, she was just so, well, it's in her playing. Your personality's in your playing. You listen to her and knew that she's a sweet person. After our mother died, the part of it is just a practical thing of like, okay, we got to go to our mom's house and we got to go through all of this stuff and see what it is that we want to preserve. Because, you know, we knew there was going to be lots of boxes of tapes of performances with, with crazy stuff on it that, I, you know, I haven't listened to. Or I mean, it was one thing that said, you know, Gloria Coleman and Billie Holiday. So is that Gloria Coleman playing with Billie Holiday that was on some tape that's, you know, never been released? I mean, I don't know. They were interviewing us and we were talking about mom. Uh-huh. And um, you know, and looking at photographs, that kind of made us sad, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. I'm you sure know? it did. But uh, I really appreciate you taking the time, you know, and um, allowing us to, you know, interview a little bit and listen to you play. So, you know, because, you know, my sister and I, it's important for us to want to have these memories, you know. You met mom when you got to New York. Right? Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, well, she came through Memphis. I met her down there. Oh, you met her down yeah, there? Um, See, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, I met her. She came through Memphis. Yeah, yeah you never know. You never know when you're going to lose a friend or a lover or a person, you know, or a relative. So enjoy life while you can.